Welcome back to another episode of Arch Linux to Openbox. This is episode number two. On this episode, we will be setting up the auto login, menu, and power sessions. All syntax will be in the video description, but feel free to pause this video if you need to. We are using the LightDM login manager, so setting up the auto login will involve editing the lightdm.conf file. In some cases, the user will need to be added to the auto login group. So as you will see here, we will create the auto login group. Add the user to the auto login group, then auto login will work as intended. So let's get it started. The main sections in your LightDM file to edit are the Auto Login Guest, Auto Login User, and Auto Login User Timeout. All other settings are for the Greeter and Theme settings. We will get into those later. For now we just want to get the Auto Login working. Let's reboot the system and see if it worked. We may still need to edit other stuff. But in most cases, this should get it done. It looks like we are going to have to add the auto login group and set our user to the auto login group for it to work. Let's look it up and do that now.
Let's reboot again. The auto login should work now. There you have it. If security is not an issue and you are okay with the auto login. There you have it. The option is there if you need it. Next let's look at our menu options. We have Rofi and the open box right click menu. We are gonna set up a third option and set it as our main menu with Rofi as a backup. Personally. I am okay with only using Rofi, but I already know that most of you would rather use a more traditional menu type. And for that we will be installing JG Menu. JG Menu will become our primary menu and Rofi will be our search backup all on the same button. So let's set it up and get that going. Let's open the Tint2 settings and prep it for editing the menu button. The menu button settings gives us the ability to set right and left click options, along with scroll wheel and middle click options. But we only need the left and right click options. Feel free to do whatever you want your way. For this tutorial we are keeping it simple. Since I will be using the Tint2 settings quite a bit throughout, I am going to set a quick launcher on the clock to access it more easier. This is the same process as setting the menu button options. These commands can do a lot. Seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago but all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago So there you have it a more traditional menu and the Rofi search menu working as a team. Now let's set up a reboot, log out power session with Yad and add it to our panel. With Rofi, I can type in the commands. But this will make it more streamlined. And it's all on a single line of code. Things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. <laughs> Way 
back a year ago. Let's create a button and put it behind the clock for now. We will call it session and pass the power session command to it using the tent2 settings. Let's test it out and see how it works. I hope you enjoyed this second episode of Arch Linux to Openbox. There will be more to come. For now this should get you familiar with the Tint2 settings and the power they have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.